Good day, everyone. Professor Maple here. We're back on Spruce Craft, watching a little bit of TV. And, uh, yeah, we're hanging out in the house. I'm still debating. Actually, now that I think of it, that wall's kind of plain, so I might put a picture up there later. We've got some spooky noises going on, but today... I'm just going to run through kind of what it would have been up to on on here since last episode because we did finish that uh, closet -y dealy down the hall there, that storage room. And it looks, it looks lovely. It looks unused and unloved and derelict and wonderful. And I still need to get some carpets in on, on this second floor here, but uh, I'm going to go through some of the other changes I've done. I don't remember if, I, if the roof was here last time, but I've definitely put that in. That's there. Got some carpets on, on the balcony here to cover some of the light sources. I was thinking about putting torches up, but uh, I didn't I th I thought I didn't think they quite fit well. Oh, hi, Burning Skeleton. At least it's not a forest fire. That's what my worry was at first there. But yeah, that's... Actually, that looks pretty good from the, from this angle. That's what we've got for the tower so far. So we'll we'll, we'll go up, uh, take a look here. I did do a lot of work on finishing this tower up. We've got the sandstone stripe still. Pardon my alliteration. We've got overhangingness and some railings to keep you from falling out here. And on top, we've got this sort of... Well, I, I, I don't remember how much I have this I had up last time but we've got this sort of lounge greenhouse kind of thing that uh, we might work on this episode and I didn't realize how circular that door is that's actually quite nice all right but look at the view you could see most of the base from here or at least from this angle I have I have gates here just so I can drop down and head to the item room if I need to or I can ender pearl up uh, once I get a bunch of ender pearls. Once 1.9 comes and I decide it's safe enough to build a, an enderman farm. But look at that. We've got the nether portal there. We've got the barn over there. Mining dome. The library. I might do a bit of library stuff in an episode at some point. Not not today. Not likely. And then we, we also, I want to do a little bit of decorating up here as well. But we'll, we'll see about that. But for now, so we've got that, we've got that, and we also have an Aperla down to here. We've got, uh, you'll see some outer panels on the on the walls here. I think they look nice. The, the building itself, the shape is just kind of weird and wonky, which is what happens a lot of the time when I do... Um, what I want to call organic building when you don't like pre-plan it and you just kind of go with whatever comes along in your head and just build as you go kind of thing. This is what happens every time I, I do that kind of build, which, you know, it's not horrible, but I think the roof is a little disproportionate to the wall and whatnot. But I do uh, what I do like about the outside are these sort of panels, I guess you can call them, where we've got sort of like this smooth sandstone here and that sort of stripey green thing. That, that one I really like. And then we've got the smooth stone there. The quartz was an original panel from that first room we built. And then, uh, let's see, what's the easiest way to get across there? Actually, you know what? We can see really well from this building here. I like, I like how this has this overhang here because we can actually get a good look at the sandstone stripe from here. It's quite a nice angle. And just quick jump over here. We get, we get a nice view of sort of that whole tower bit. But it's not quite as thin as I originally realized or originally thought. But you know what? I'm alright with it. It's not atrocious, just not fantastic. Oh, and there's something I might have to fix later. Didn't realize <laughs> that, that 
that you could see some of the stone bricks there. So I'm going to put some scaffolding over across here for later. Because I know I'm going to forget it if I don't. And yeah, so we've got a smooth stone panel here. We've got the continuation of that that sandstone and clay stripe thing. And we have this that I'll have to fix later. I'm not sure how, but I will find a way. And I did some experiments with stairs on this side. That was kind of interesting, sort of around that balcony opening. And then the front side. I think I think the front side's mostly plain because it's so close to the wall. I didn't really care too much about it. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We've got some sort of bordering with slabs and stairs over here. But otherwise it's fairly uh fairly uh uninteresting, I guess. And then this is cool, it's sort of the, like, when I was building the, the pretty much the rest of the base here, it was, it was kind of an experiment with half slabs and stuff, and so from that I learned this sort of using two, like the top slab and the bottom slab, and sort of creating that one block gap without it being on the block, I really like that. I think this panel looks really cool because of that. But yeah, what what uh, what are we doing today? Today we are going to. Well, we have one panel left to build. On here, and I'm going to eat a thing before I kill myself with ender pearls because that's not really a great uh, promise there. It's not promising. And. Uh, yeah, then, then we're just gonna, I think we're gonna keep working on this, try and get, I don't think we're gonna quite get done, this build, but uh, we're gonna get as close to done as we can, and then we'll try and move on next episode to something else, if we can. Or we'll, there, we might have another room to do in this build, but I, 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 want, I want to finish this, make sure it's complete and then move on afterwards because uh, looking back you know I have the vault project I have the guardian farm improvements I have the hall of days I have all this stuff that I've started but haven't really finished so this one I want to make sure I finish and then go back to some of the stuff that we also got to finish so anyhow let's take a look at what we might want to use for this that's a whole block, okay. So we've got a half slab there. So I probably want a whole block up top. And we're just gonna take a look at it from over here. Hmm. <laughs> I haven't done much spruce with sandstone yet let's try that let's try or do I want to use stairs let's try let's try something with stairs actually no I've got plenty of stairs on this side let's keep it reasonably flat here I'm gonna to have to half slab the top of these at some point soon or on my way out do I have them yes I do wonderful So we'll just put those across to prevent spawns. And actually, you know what? I should also put them across here for the same reason. Uh, double check. Yeah, this this area back here, just going on a tangent here. All half slabbed. Made sure that nothing can spawn here, except up there where it's lit. But it's lit enough that nothing will spawn. But yes, yeah, so let's get to back to this, in which case we want that. And I want to try and keep it simple, so maybe no more... Uh, I'll have to make some more... 
Oh, bother. No, that's not how you do that. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec here. There we go. That's what I was going for. I was trying to make a half slabs to make the the chiseled sandstone there. So we've got that. And then I'm going to have to half slab this again. Both here and here is where I'm going to put some more blocky blockies. Just going to add some texture to the wall here and I could end it there. How's that look so far? How does that look? That looks that looks all right. But because that's not lit or slabbed, uh, something could spawn on it. But we're going to try filling it with fence posts just to add a bit more color to the sandstone here. See how this goes. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, actually, you know what? I could have, had I realized that very few of my built my uh, rooms have windows, or I probably could have done that for some of the windows. Oh well. But yeah, that's that's that for now. Uh, we'll move on to the next thing. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do now is that well, I've started. I started a little bit up here. I've added some benches along the outside, kind of kept with the theme down on the uh, the porch down below where we have regular oak wood as our furniture color because I kind of like the lighter with the with the spruce. It kind of matches the the inside of the spruce logs a little bit. But now we're going to try and get to the inside here. I want to lay out the furniture a little bit before we get too far in and all because especially with the uh, oops oh, maybe one more back for that one especially with the the stairs being around the outside and then also using stairs as the chairs and be very careful that we uh, yeah that's centered okay that we don't have too much of a uh, an issue trying to make sure that that these chair stairs don't sort of connect with the outer wall stairs but I, it looks like there shouldn't be an issue with that uh, and then for now we're just going to let's see where where where's the center here I'm going to add a bit of light uh how low do i want this is that gonna be too low if I put it there just as it actually no I, I, I quite like that all right well except that it's dirt that will change to glowstone and we'll probably oh I don't have them on me but I will get some looks kind of chunky just on its own I'm gonna or at least that that pole there so I'm gonna bring some trapdoors and do the usual trapdoor thing with that and I think what I want to do, actually, what's the light level here? Eight, nine. I forget if it's eight or below or, oh, but we've got a seven there. So we definitely want to light this up a bit more. I'm going to have to mark it just a tad. Maybe put something there. We'll come back and do that because I don't have too much glowstone on me anymore. I used a lot up and tried to salvage salvage as much as I could from anywhere I could find it, but I don't have a ton left. I really don't want to uh, have to worry too much about mobs up here. And by too much I mean at all. Uh, let's see, so we probably want another set of these chairs. We probably want to make it symmetrical or actually no 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 we don't want it symmetrical I want to have sort of like a maybe a table in here and some plants I think that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna come back in a bit and hopefully have everything collected and decided upon and whatnot and we'll see about putting it together maybe I don't know, might change, but that's the plan for now.
All right, guys, so we are ready to go. We've got some more glowstone hanging, dangling from the ceiling here, which, by the way, I chose cobblestone. Every once in a while I'll do this where I, I choose cobblestone walls for the, the ceiling or the roof. And in this instance, I just wanted to be able to let all the natural light through, make it look airy. And originally I wasn't going to put all the... Uh, uh, the rain's going to ruin it. All the leaves on top there. Uh, but, you know, this time... This time I knew I knew I wanted to not be able to see the rain if I was up here when it was raining. In here. And so the cobblestone walls was, were going to do that. No matter what. And as opposed to if I had... You know, something... A little less... Full in, in, the, in the ceiling... I don't remember what I was thinking of putting there before, but this was the alternative I came up with. And then the leaves just kind of, I was, it looked kind of bland without the leaves, and I put them on top, and now it just, it looks fantastic, I think. So we've got that. Oh, right, I have to finish this table. <laughs> uh, one more, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And we may need still... A... I don't remember if it's 8 or below or below 8 that uh, mob spawn on but we'll find out I'm sure <laughs> oh, I'm not nervous at all about that um, but yeah let's see we want to uh, we're done building tables we don't have any flippable spots without just Moving things directly here. So we will try these first and foremost here. Just add a couple here and there. Uh, maybe clutter one end up on a table a little bit just to make it look a little more natural. And of course we have to put these in. And of course the rain stops now. Uh, let's see, we'll put... Uh, that's a green on that end. We'll put we'll put one of those ferns in there, and then let's put some some orange. We have an orange tulip in the, on the first floor there, so we'll add one of them here, and then maybe something white. And we already have a tulip shape in on in there on that table, so yeah, that works. I like that. Okay, and then maybe. Maybe a, an oxide daisy just to balance uh, the white out there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. And then we have to fix these trees up. I was originally going to try... Um, oh, maybe the birch will look nice in here. Let's try that out. I was really originally going to use logs in the bottom part, but then I was like, eh, that doesn't really look like a planter. And from far back... I like the density of the leaves, but I don't like the darkness of them. So, not birch. Get those back. We'll try the oak, because they are a little bit lighter. These are oak, yeah? Uh, what am I missing? Birch. Yeah, those are, those are the regular oak. So if we go back here... And still not entirely convinced, so we'll maybe try the dark oak in this one over here, just to see what the difference is here. You know what? I can't even tell if they're if they're different colors, at least in this lighting. And I feel like the texture is different between the two and because of that I kind of I kind of like that they're they're not the same because they they look like two different plants because technically they are but they also look like they are the same type of plant even though they are not so I, I like that so we'll, we'll keep that we'll keep that and I believe that's this room done like I don't, I don't really, and like if if you think there's something missing here, definitely don't be afraid to supply some constructive criticism here. Not nothing deconstructive, 
just something like a, hey, I think it could use maybe something like this. I'm always down for, for constructive criticism. And I'm just, I just noticed that uh, this inside here, I just want to try a stair. Oh no, we kind of lose that. Uh, yeah, can't really even tell that there's something there anymore. So we're gonna we're we're gonna ignore what I was trying there. But yeah, I th I, this room is done. So oh, I might put a carpet in the middle, maybe. Then I can hide some light, just so I can calm my paranoia. But yeah, not nothing too fancy. So I'll I'll consider this done. All right, guys. So I believe we're finished here. Except it does like ha putting the carpet down. It does feel like there's something missing, kind of near the entrance. I can't quite put my finger on what though. So yeah, don't be afraid to leave any suggestions in the comments down below, down below in the under place there. And otherwise, I really hope you can't hear that loud truck in the parking lot. Which is weird because it is 10 to 5 a.m. Uh, anyway, so uh, <laughs> I record really late and somehow you are in my head. Uh, there we go, that's the vines. Alright, so yeah. Definitely leave any suggestions down in the comments there. And we next episode, uh, we'll probably be working on another room here. But we are very, very close to the finish line for this one, so... Have a, have a good now, and we will see you next time. Goodbye!